In this video, we will talk about Australia's plan to use the herpes virus to kill off invasive fish in the form of carp in its waterways, why the release of the virus is necessary, and why some scientists think that this is a very bad idea with possible global consequences. The plan to use the virus is very simple. Release the carp herpes virus, which is known to only infect carp and no other species in Australia. The virus is expected to reduce carp population by 40 to 60 percent over 10 years, according to mathematical modeling. But why take the drastic step of releasing a virus into the carp population in rivers in the first place? The Australian government has deemed it necessary because the carp, as an invasive species, has done tremendous damage to the environment and is considered a pest. Carp has outcompeted local fish for resources and is now the dominant species in several riverine systems. In fact, it is now estimated that the carp is 80 to 90 percent of the total fish biomass in some waterways in Australia. Carp, through their feeding habits, stir up sediment, increasing turbidity, which in turn reduces the amount of sunlight that reaches the interior of rivers, resulting in the degradation of plants and subsequently affecting fish and aquatic communities. Carp feeding habits also lead to erosion. Carp activity causes over $500 million in economic losses each year. For all these reasons, the Australian government is eager to reduce the population of carp in its waterways. This idea of using a virus to kill or limit the population of another species is called a biological control and is not as crazy as you might think. In fact, Australia has previously used this technique effectively to control the population of the European rabbit, another major invasive species and pest on the continent. The myxoma virus was deployed in 1950 to kill rabbits and is estimated to have brought the population of rabbits from 500 million down to 100 million in Australia. However, the rabbit developed a resistance to the virus and its population partially rebounded to 300 million by 1991. There have been other releases of other viruses which have curtailed the rabbit population on the continent. Since authorities in Australia have had some success with this method, why are some scientists skeptical about using a virus to suppress carp population in Australia? In other words, we need to ask the question about what could go wrong. Some scientists argue that releasing the virus will not be effective because it is temperature dependent. A water temperature of 16 to 28 degrees Celsius is needed to effectively deploy the virus, and carp that are not in the target temperature range will recover quickly and repopulate the waters. Some British scientists in a journal paper, link in the description below, also argued that the systematic release of the virus could have worldwide ramifications as the carp is the most farmed fish in the world. Hence, the global food supply lines could be negatively affected. Furthermore, it was argued that if the virus is successful, then it would mean millions of fish will die, leading to loss of oxygen due to bacterial degradation and could cause ecosystems to deteriorate. These millions of fish need to be removed from the waterways. Does the government have an effective plan to remove dead fish? All these issues need to be worked out before successful deployment of virus. Other scientists who are in favor of deploying the virus argue that the virus is already in several countries, and it has not been seen jumping species even in closely related fish. So, what do you think? Should the Australian government deploy the carp herpes virus? What do you think could go wrong? Please let me know in the YouTube comments section below.